Hey BCC Kids, I'm so excited to have you tune in today. Today we'll be looking at people that make good choices and bad choices and how Jesus looks at these choices. But before we do, let's remember every day I am who Jesus says I am. Stories of the Bible. Jesus and the Sinful Woman. This is Jesus. Hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. There were a group of Jewish leaders called the Pharisees who heard Jesus speak often. One of the Pharisees, named Simon, asked Jesus to have dinner with him. Come on over. Oh, okay. Sounds good. So Jesus went over to his house and a certain sinful woman heard that he was eating there. She went to the house and brought a jar filled with expensive perfume. She kneeled at Jesus' feet and cried. Her tears fell on his feet and she wiped them with her hair. She kissed his feet and put the perfume on them. Simon saw this and said to himself, Yeah. If this man really were a prophet, he'd know what kind of woman is touching him. She's a sinner. Blah. Then Jesus said, Simon, I have something to say to you. Ah, uh, okay. And he told him this story. A man loaned money to two people, 500 pieces of silver to one, Thank you. and 50 pieces to the other. Yeah, thanks. Oh, hello again. But neither of them could repay him. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. So he kindly forgave them both. Eh, that's okay. Canceling their debts. Who do you suppose loved him more after that? Simon said that the one who owed him more loved him more. Jesus said, Yep. That's right. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Look at this woman kneeling here. When I entered your home, you didn't offer me water or wash the dust off my feet, but she has washed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. I tell you, her sins, and there are many, have been forgiven, so she has shown me much love. But a person who is forgiven little shows only little love. Then Jesus said to the woman, Your sins are forgiven. The men at the table said among themselves, Who is this man? that he goes around forgiving sins. And Jesus said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. What a great story, BCC kids. I'm so glad that God forgives us and loves us. So we'll be moving on now to just unpacking this story a little more. Here we go. Hey, Cameron! Watson? Yeah, what's up, man? Hey, Cameron! Hey, um, where are you? Are you here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, good. Hey, oh. um, um, quick question for you. Are you busy, buddy? Yes. Okay, good. Didn't think so. Um, so listen, got a bit of some bad news to let you know. Um, remember that Rubik's Cube that you let me borrow? Yeah, it was like ten minutes ago. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of this now? Hmm. Like, uh, it's broke. You broke it? Yes, I, uh, I broke how? it. I completely destroyed it. I'm sorry. I don't understand how you broke hey, it. Hey, hey, shh, shh. Listen, buddy, listen. It's okay. You can cry. You can just let it uh, out here. I'll cry with you. We'll cry about cry. the broken Rubik's Cube together. It's okay. One, two, I, three. I, no, no, Watson, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to do that. You're not going to cry? Yeah, there's no He's reason. I'm just saying, if you want to cry, just let it out. Still no. 
I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. No problem. Suit yourself. Yep. All right. All right, P. Rubik's cube will miss you, bud. Watson, it's just a Rubik's cube, and I know you didn't mean to break it, so it's okay. I forgive you. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. I was really concerned about what you were gonna say. Cameron. Oh, hey, Trunks. Oh, uh, are you busy? No, he's not busy. What's up, bud? I am. Though. I mean, I'm not in a hurry to tell you anyway. I mean, I can come back later. No, it's a great time. Nothing happening here. What's up, uh, bud? Yeah, what's up? Uh, okay, well, remember that PS4 you let me borrow? Yeah, I literally let you borrow it at the same time I let him borrow that Rubik's Cube, like yep. 10 minutes ago. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I kind of broke it. <gasps> what on earth was happening in the last 10 minutes? Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Watson Show. Uh, today we're doing the Rubik's Cube stress test. Got the Rubik's Cube right here. Gonna see how much pressure it takes to destroy it. Here we go. Oh man, that was crazy. Look at how much broken it is. Oh man, wild. I'm so glad it's not mine. Well, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. My buddy Trunks is coming in next and he's breaking the PS4. It's gonna be wild. Be sure to like and subscribe, fam. Peace! A boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom, Watson, Watson show on YouTube. Oh! Uh. What? You broke his PS4? Yeah. Oh my goodness, Trunks! You, I can't believe it! Cameron, I cannot wait to see how you're gonna punish Trunks here oh. for his terrible, terrible deed. What are you gonna do? What's his punishment? Should we punch him? No, no, no. no, no Let's no. kick him. No, no, wait, no, no. We can't be that. We can't be, like, physically violent. We gotta be psychological. Here's what we're gonna do. What? We're gonna go to the zoo and we're gonna train oh. all the animals to ignore him. So he goes to the zoo and he's like, oh. hey, what's up, animals? And they're like... That sounds terrible! Yeah, it sounds oh, terrible, and oh, it's what you deserve! Oh, Brace no, oh, breaker! Guys, I'm not gonna do any of that, and I'm not gonna physically assault him either. I'm not gonna punch him. Oh, oh. I see what you're saying. Playing it low-key, oh. keeping it on the down low. I got you. When the punching starts, let me know. Wait, away from me. I'm not oh. gonna punch him. I'm not gonna do any of that. Here, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Trunks, oh. I forgive you. You what? How could you forgive him? He broke your PlayStation Quattro, those are awesome! You broke my Rubik's Cube! Yeah, but I mean, the thing that I broke is like tiny and small. It costs like, what, five dollars? Maybe tops in a terrible store with way overpriced items? No, what he broke was a PlayStation 4. You know what those cost? Do you know what those cost today? I don't. One million dollars. Oh, now hold on. At least I don't on that. sale. That's how much it cost. That's not. He did a big bad thing. I did a little tiny bad thing, but he did a big bad thing. Now kick him. I'm not going to kick him. I'm not going to do any of that. I deserve it. No, you don't. It's true. I really do forgive you. It's okay. Well, really? Yeah, really. Like for real? For real. Oh man, thank you so much, Cameron. Thank you. Sure thing. Ah, oh, this is unbelievable, unprecedented. How can you forgive him and forgive me in the same thing? And my thing is so small and his thing is so big that he did. Watson, you shouldn't be trying to compare yourself to Trunks. You both messed up. This is actually what we're talking about today. Simon from our Bible story looked at the sinful woman a lot like you're looking at the situation right now. You see, he tried to compare himself to her and say that he was less separated from God than she was. Because in his mind, what she did was way worse. But when we start to look at things how Jesus looks at them, we realize that it's not a matter of being better or worse than someone, but understanding that no matter how good or bad we think we are, we were all just as separated from God. So you see, Watson. Watson? Watson? What is this? Had to meet Trunks at the zoo. Bye. Watson went to the zoo. We just learned today that we should not look down on someone just because they have sin in their lives. Sin is what separates us from God, and whether we are currently separated or not, at some point we were all separated from God. Only Jesus can take away that separation, and that's exactly what he did for us on the cross. He made a way for us so that we may never be separated from God again. What great news! And if we really understand how big a deal this is, that what Jesus did for us, 
was not just for us, but for absolutely everyone, then it's impossible to look down on someone just because they have sin in their lives. When Jesus looks at us, he looks at us with deep love and compassion. He wants us and everyone to accept what he did for them on the cross so they can be part of God's family too. What great news. Hi everyone, I'm Gloria. We're going to make something that's become very popular right now on TikTok and you know any cooking places right now. And it's two ingredient dough that makes a number of things. You can make bagels, which is how it started, but pizza, cinnamon buns, uh, breadsticks, so many things. The two ingredients is just flour and yogurt. So with the flour, it calls for self-rising flour, which in Canada we don't usually use. We use all-purpose flour. So because self-rising has baking powder and salt already in it, we have to add that. So it's just going to be one cup of flour. Then we have to add a teaspoon, a teaspoon of baking powder that helps it to rise and some salt. So if you look at the self rising flour, you'll see that they already have that in it. So about a half a teaspoon. And then plain yogurt. So no, none of your flavored ones. Liberté is the one I buy, but there's others. And Greek yogurt, not just plain any. Greek yogurt is much thicker. It's like a sour cream thickness. So you want to add a cup of that to, to this flour mixture. So you're just going to add the two together. Okay, so then you're mixing with a spoon until you can't mix anymore. And then make sure you, I didn't wash my hands for the video, but I did wash them just before this. So make sure your hands are clean. And you'll see it starts coming all together, all starting to stick, stick well together. So you're just watching for this until it starts pulling away from the bowl. And this is the point that I would get my hands in to start mixing now. And it's called kneading. And so you're just going to start turning it over and just gathering any flour that's left in there. So it's still a little bit sticky. And so then what I do with the flour, I just put a little bit down in my on my surface, whatever surface, and put it on there. And then just knead it a couple times. It doesn't, you know, two, three, let's see how many, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, it's still a little bit sticky to me, so 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, I'm soaking up all the flour. I'm trying to get it so it's not sticky. Okay, to me that's that's good. Okay, so then if I was going to, I'll wash my hands first. Uh, if I was going to make bagels, um, I think I would divide it in four. But today I'm gonna make pizza dough, or pizzas. We'll just I can break it with my hands too but just to show you so I'll show you both ways so if I was going to do a bagel so I would just put it in a circle and with my thumb right through that would be my bagel now I'm not doing bagels today but if we're doing bagels, I would brush that with egg egg, uh, egg whites, or just egg mixed up, and I'd put uh, everything bagel on it, or you can put sesame seeds on it, whatever, but that's all you would do for a bagel. I'm gonna do pizza crust, and 
I would do it here, but I'm thinking what would be easier for you to do. So I'm going to do it on the cookie sheet, I think. And so we just want to flatten it as much as we can. And I'm just using my fingers. So we're going to get four little pizzas out of this. No, I shouldn't turn it over because that's not necessary either. Okay, so there's one pizza. Okay, I've made my dough into four pizzas. I've just spread them out on the cookie sheet like this, so you can do that too. I'm going to do a couple different types. Two, I'm going to do gourmet, which this is just my my choice for me and Lisa, but you can do your own. So on two of them, I'm just going to put some oil. And then we're going to pile on some gourmet treats here. So I got prosciutto. Well, no, I'm gonna start with apple wedges. And yeah, they're quite thinly sliced. Very thin, yes. Then we'll go with prosciutto, which is um, a gourmet ham. And then I've got sun-dried tomatoes. And shallots. These are just a milder onion, but very nice tasting. Um, okay, a little bit of ricotta. And the last thing is a little bit of arugula. These are really gourmet. Here are two pieces. I'm going to use, well, I'm going to put oil on them. I just thought, because I'm not doing them very thick, I thought the oil will brown up, make it nice and crispy. Okay, I've got tomato paste. You can buy this in the little jars. You can use a regular spaghetti sauce or a pizza sauce, but I'm going to just use a tablespoon of this on these two. I've never seen it in a tube. Yeah, it's it's hard to find. Like uh, now, I know. Um, I'm trying to think of what section. Yeah, it is in where the tomato paste is. Okay, and then some mozzarella cheese. Ooh. Now, I don't know about you, how many other things you like on it, but you can make your own to suit you. But I know my grandkids, this is all they would like, is just cheese. So usually that's all we have. So this is all we're doing. We're going to bake it at a high temperature. I've got, it's going to be 425 again. And we'll check it at 15 minutes. That's what I'm thinking it should take. I'm, one more thing. Hang on. Balsamic glaze for our gourmet ones. Wow. It adds to the whole gourmet effect. <laughs> okay, we'll see you back here in 15 minutes. Okay. Okay, our pizzas are done. In fact, a little too more, too well done than I like them. I should have taken them out a little bit sooner. But uh, you can see our gourmet pizza is uh, beautiful. Mm. And our cheese pizzas. Well, looks really good, Gloria. Okay. I hope you'll try them. Let me know if you do. And bon appetit.
guess what time it is it's time to worship before we do i just want to let you know that next week we'll be starting our easter series Yeah. Mm -hmm. 